Okay, good morning guys once again. Today is 25th December 2020 and we are going ahead with our lecture and today's topic of discussion is about organizational development. Okay, so what is organizational development? We are going to understand organizational development today. Uh, organizational development which is also known as OD in short form is a conscious and collective efforts to increase an organizational ability. Organizational development could also be defined as the readiness to meet the possible changes in future. Thus, it is a systematic learning and expansion strategy intended to change the basics of beliefs, attitude and relevance of values and structure of the current organization to better absorb un unruly technologies, changing market opportunities and ensuing challenges and chaos. In a way, it is a skeleton for a change process designed to leave desirable positive impact on the stack all the stakeholders and the environment okay organizational development using several multidisciplinary methods and research can design and devise interventions which are the part from traditional organization development approaches the purpose is to implement effective organizational change through an ongoing and systematic process okay so this is about our organizational development <coughs> okay now here the various researchers they have given the different definitions of the organization which we are going to discuss here all right guys so we are going ahead the first okay the first one we are taking is of Warren Bennis. Okay. He defines organizational development what as a response to change a complex educational strategy intended to change the belief, attitude, values and structure of organization. Okay. So that they can adopt a new technologies market and challenges on dizzying rate of change itself. Okay. Now from this definition, this is what the definition which is given by Warren Bennis. Now see here guys, this is one important thing that they may give you the definition also in the form of a passage, paragraph, whatever it is. And they may give you the four options. So you should know that who has given which definition. These names are very important. Okay. All these names you should remember that who has given which, what definitions. Now, from this definition, one can comprehend, means one can understand four words which are regarded today as a key component of organization. Okay. And what are these uh, key words for this? That is the beliefs attitudes, values and structure. So this is what this particular definition is emphasizing on. Okay. Next we are going ahead with the next definition. Now organizational development. Okay. Now according to the Richard Beckhard, how uh, how the Richard Beckhard see as you can see here, let me show you. Okay. How Richard Beckhard is defined as a planned effort. What is organizational development? It is a Plan effort organizations wide manage from the top to increase the organizational effectiveness and the health through the planned interventions. Okay, these are all the planned interventions in the organization's process. Okay, using the behavioral science knowledge. Okay, so according to the Richard Beckard, what we do in the organizational development that we use behavioral science knowledge to develop any organization. Okay. Okay. Next we have. This Uday Uday Parki, Uday Parik. Okay. Now, what definition has been given by Uday Parik? We see here. Uday Parik holds that organization development is a designed effort. Okay, which is initiated. Initiated means started. Started. Started by a process. Okay, specialties and help an organization to develop. And what it helps in? It helps its diagnostic skills. It helps for coping capabilities. It helps in linkage strategies in the form of temporary and the semi-permanent system and a cultural mutility. All right. Now, the next definition which is given to us, that is by Thomas G. Cummings and Edger F. Hughes. Okay. And how they define? They define the organizational development as a system-wide application of behavioral science knowledge. Okay. To the planned development, okay, to the planned development and reinforcement of an organizational strategy 
structure and process for improving an organizational effectiveness. Now you can see here, this whole definition is very, very clearly mentioned in the front of you guys. Okay, so this is given by Thomas G. Cumming and Edgar F. Hughes. He has defined this organizational development like this. All right, guys? Okay, the next one, we go for the next one. Okay, uh, next we have uh, Warner Burke. Okay, he, uh, what this uh, Warner Buke, he accentuate here. Now see the word, this is what I show you guys. Okay, this is the word. This is called accentuate. Okay, now what is this accentuate? It is actually a verb which means to emphasize something or make it more noticeable. Okay, if I write here, to emphasize okay or make something more noticeable that is called okay so Warner Burke accentuate that OD means organizational development is not just anything done to better an organization okay what is is it is it is a change process okay meticulously and consciously designed to bring about an exacting kind of end result okay now what uh, organizational development includes organizational reflection system improvement planning and self analysis these are the points according to the warner burek he has defined this okay okay next we have Next definition is given by, uh, according to Roland, Roland Sullivan. Okay, he has given the definition in 2005, how he defined, he defined organizational development as an organizational development is a transformative, okay, according to him what, it is a transformative. See, if you see here. Organizational development is a transformative leap to desired vision where the strategies and system align. Okay. In the light of local culture with an innovative and authentic leadership style using the support of high-tech tools. Okay, guys. Is it clear till here? Okay. Now, the next one we will see. Okay. Now, the next definition which is given to us by Cumming and Warley, 2005. Okay, guys, what I'm telling that you can write down even these names if it is required. You can pause the video. You can see that what are the exact name. Okay, so Cumming and Warley in 2005, they proposed the following definition. Now, Cumming and Warley has a different point of view to look at it. So how they define, they said the organization development is a system wide application and transfer of the behavioral science, knowledge and the planned development, improvement and reinforcements of the strategies, structure and process that lead to the organization's effectiveness. All right. So that's in simple words, we can say organization development. Okay. Organization development is the process through which an organization develops the internal capacity to most efficient and effectively provide the mission work and to sustain itself over the long term. Okay, guys. So this is what... Uh, organizational development I hope it is clear for you these are the various definitions which are given by the uh, various uh, author scholars all right uh, now next topic we are going to discuss about is uh, characteristic of our organizational development okay okay what are the major characteristics of an organizational development so the focus of an organizational development is, is on the existing and the desired culture and the process of the organization. See, now this is the first point. The focus on the existing and desired culture and the process of the organization. Now, what is this uh, desired culture? Now, see, actually in any organization, no matter where you are, different places have a different culture to work. Okay. Now, if you will go to work in a BPO, so BPO has a different culture. A school is having a different work culture. Okay. And a hospital industry may have a different culture all right now the next one is uh, it is a program 
which is education based organization development is education based and this is planned to develop the values attitude norms and management practices so when we are talking about organizational development so what values does it include it includes the attitude means behavior norms means the rules regulation management practices okay the planning is such okay that all efforts okay should result in healthy organizational climate okay which rewards all its kinds of healthy behavior humanistic values inspire and drive the organizational development okay guys so here we have discussed about it okay about organizational development if you look at some of the key points also of this organizational development okay if you have some time we can go through quickly that what we have read so the approach behind organizational development is a data based okay one which intends to understand and diagnose organization there is an encouragement of the collaboration between the organizational leaders and members in managing culture and purpose and processes on the part of organizational development now organizational development believes that the teams of all kinds are particularly important for task accomplishment okay guys yeah the word is used for you guys is accomplishment those who are not able to understand means accomplishment means achieve something the target or the goal of an institution okay the focus what are these is the focus from the, the angle of organizational development is primarily on the human and social side of the organization so what is their primary goal okay here yeah, the primary goal is the human and social side of the organization okay any organization they work whether it's a school or hospital or anything they keep all the human being and the society in their view and then they act and work accordingly okay uh, next we have uh, od means organizational development advocates okay here the term is used is advocates now what is this advocates means here advocate means to support okay so organizational development advocates the participation and in uh, an involvement in the problem solving and decision making by all levels of organization it is a planned strategy which is long ranging in the nature for managing changes change okay furthermore it is also recognizes that the dynamic environment of the organization requires the ability to respond quickly to changing circumstances okay circumstances means situations here okay Now, organizational views organizations as complex social system with a focus or focus on the systematic change. All right. Now, organizational development uh, precautionaries focus on communications of the problem-solving skills and knowledge of continuous learning through self-analytic method to the client to enable them to solve their problem on their own. They may take the role of facilitator or collaborators or co-learners with the client system. there is there is a rely there is there is reliance okay uh, if you do remember i told you what is this reliance here right reliant is the trust the meaning of the dictionary meaning of the word okay the, there is a reliance there is a trust on the action research model with extensive participation by the client system member organizational development okay has a development views seeking better bent of both individuals and an organization means in an organization the development of both is necessary of an individual as well as if you are working for an organization so you want that you should prosper you should develop you should growth and whatever work you are doing in the same way the organization expect that because of your presence the organization should also develop okay it involves the plan interventions and improvement okay Uh, in an organization's process and structures and requires skills in working with the individual groups and whole organization this is because it is the primarily driven by action research okay so these all are the main key points which we have covered in this all right guys so today in this video we have done with organizational development and we have done with the characteristic of organizational development so next i will come with the another topic okay so stay tuned and keep preparing yourself okay once again thank you very much and wishing you all a merry christmas ahead okay enjoy your day bye bye